In this vlog, we're going to continue our discussion about administrative distances. So let's start with some questions. When router 1 pings the loopback of router 4, so 4.4.4.4, which way will the traffic go? Show IP route shows us the routing table. So you answer the question, which way will traffic go when sent from router 1 to router 4? Will it go via router 2? Or will it go via router 3? Which way will it go and why? So let's do a trace to quadruple 4. So the traffic is going via router 2. So the next top is 10.1.1.2 and then it goes to 10.1.3.2. Why? So here's the routing table. We've got these entries for network 4.4.4.4. Both a EIGRP and OSPF route are shown in the routing table. Notice the admin distance of EIGRP and OSPF. EIGRP has a lower administrative distance than OSPF does. So typically, EIGRP is more believable than OSPF. See my other videos for examples demonstrating that. However, and this is the important piece, notice the mask used on the EIGRP route compared to the mask used on the OSPF route. From a router's point of view, these are two separate networks. We've got a 4.4.4.0 network and we've got a 4.4.4.4 slash 32 network. So slash 24 and slash 32 network. They are separate networks. The router will choose the route with the best match. In other words, longest match. 32 bits is a longer match or better match than 24 bits. So this route takes precedence over this route for traffic sent to the loopback of router 4. The administrative distances are only used when we are talking about the same route. In other words, the masks are the same. Here, because they are different masks, longest match is used. So as an example, if I removed OSPF from the router, and then use the command show IP route. Notice the EIGRP route is the route in the routing table. And if we traced to quadruple four, it would go via router three. So let's add back OSPF. And I'll just enable OSPF on all interfaces in area zero. Show IP route. OSPF loading still has to be done. But once that's done, notice the route is available in the routing table and we are going via router two in this example. So router one is learning about this network from router two through OSPF. Router one is learning about this network through EIGRP from router three, but because of the longest match, the traffic is sent via router two. So let's see why the summary route was added. So show run interface gigabit 01. I added this summary route to router four to summarize the network advertised through ERGRP. So let's go onto that interface and remove it. Now show IP route on router one. What you'll notice is the OSPF route has been removed. This new route has only been available in the routing table for five seconds. Previously, we had this route in the routing table for about 49 seconds. So a new route has been added through EIGRP because it's the same route as the route advertised by OSPF. In other words, this is the same as this exact match, the EIGRP route takes precedence because it has a lower administrative distance. So now when we trace to that loopback, it's going via router three. So be careful with admin distances. 
and administrative distance is only used as a tiebreaker when multiple routing protocols are trying to put the same route into the routing table. If they're different routes, in other words, they're different masks, both routes will end up in the routing table. That concludes this vlog. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.